Shalom. Welcome back. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, praise, and honors to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And I want to say salutations to you, Akimata, that's pushing this word with sincerity and in truth. Uh, today's lesson is basically going to go, in, in, go, go into this photo that a brother posted in our group chat. And the photo is of the, uh, uh, I guess, a branch of the Sakari. All right. And uh, when you see the photo, one of their members is uh, in this garment, right? Border of blue fringes. And got a, a, a assault, ri assault rifle on his hip. All right. Also, he's in fatigues and, and combat boots, man. All right. So this is basically going to be about this is why Great Millstone GMS uh <laughs> don't go for that uni unity camp all right we do not go for that uni unity camp because uh this is what you get out of that a whole bunch of carnality confusion and, and my and my main question uh, would be uh, for Sakari or the people affiliated with him is why now all right why now do you have your members uh, outside uh they got the 12 tribe sign they got the garments uh, preaching or whatever, why, why are you out there armed? Okay? Why are you out there armed right now? You wasn't doing this before, why now? Alright? That's, that's my obvious question to anybody that, that, that sees this photo. Uh, you know, something doesn't look right. Something doesn't sit right. You know? Is it because you lack faith? Have you sold out? Are you trying to give, uh, uh, Israelites in general a bad name? Because, uh, and, and you know the scriptures, man. What we're doing is, is spiritual right now. This is not carnal. In the scripture, when you see this post, is uh, they put a scripture underneath it to justify it. Nehemiah 4 and 17, they which build it on the wall, and they that bear burdens, and those that laid it, every one with, every one with one of his hands wrought in the work, and with the other hand held a weapon. And we are not in that time right now. All right. You can take a scripture out of context and out of the time period in which that scripture really applies to, which they're doing uh, at, at the bottom of this post. That This is not the time for that. All right. So that's, this is the prime reason, like I said, GMS, Great Millstone uh, are, are not affiliated with any of these other camps, man. OK, this is not a good look. It's just not a good look. OK. Because uh, the picture you're painting. Is that, uh, and above it, it's talking about the NFAC linking us to, uh, it says, we was not the only organization having an armed demonstration in the ATL on the 4th of July. The prophets was outside as usual, right? <laughs> so uh, the prophets out there with a, you know, assault rifle or whatever. It's like, come the hell on, man. How simple and carnal can you be? But, you know, it's what's, it's what's expected. When you have uh, your leaders, you know, uh, pushing a very worldly vibe, a very carnal vibe, uh, putting out hip hop and rap videos, you know, they're not. It's, it's simply not in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And a lot of these camps are going to lead a lot of the members uh, uh, to slaughter. All right, right to slaughter. But let's. Uh, Let's get into some scriptures. Let's go into the book of Amos 3 and 3. It says, can two walk together except they be agreed? Correct. So, no, we're not down with joining with uh, these ass backwards, not in spirit camps. Just to put it bluntly. All right. This shit is uh, crazy. You out there in fatigues and assault rifle. And Esau is marking your every move. You know. Because uh, in this truth, man, we got to understand that this is a spiritual ba battle, man. To hell with how you want to be portrayed or how you want to look, man. This is about uh, basically taking the shit right now, man. All right. Didn't the Lord say if this was his kingdom, his servants would fight? This is not his kingdom. This is still Esau's kingdom. And the Heavenly Father, when he comes back and give us the, the, the green light and that spiritual power, 
then his kingdom will be taken down. And not until then, right? Let's keep uh, let's keep moving. Let's go to the book of uh, Matthew ten and sixteen. Right? It says, "Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves." Right? So what? When you look at that picture, <laughs> you know, a picture can paint, uh, you know, paint a million words, a thousand words. What does that say to you? When you see that, does that say spiritual? Does it say the Holy Spirit? All right. That's, that says carnality, niggerism, man. When I look at that. Because it ain't time for that, man. It is not time for that. It says, behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Right. So we on the street corners, man. This is a spiritual battle. A spiritual battle. It's not being out there with actual uh, weapons of war or garments of war. All right. What we do is in the spirit to break down actual strongholds. And I'm going to get that scripture. Right. Let's keep going. Let's go to the book of Matthew 26 and 52. Then Yahushai, uh then said Yahushai to them, put up again thy sword in his place. For all that they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Thinkest thou that I cannot now pray to my father, and he shall presently give me more than twelve legions of angels? Now, I brought that out because <laughs> when the Lord comes back with those angels, those chariots, whom the so-called uh, Caucasian man deem UFOs, that's a mighty power, man. We're not getting a kingdom with fucking assault rifles, all right, and gats. And nines and all this nonsense, man. The spirit of you other camps, man, is just straight off. And like I said, you people out there that's following them, you're going to be led to your slaughter. Because that's the spirit that they're coming in. All right? It's not the spirit of waiting on the Heavenly Father. It's the spirit of, you know, I'm taking things into my own hand. The spirit of I lack faith. The spirit, I'm scared to be out here because I don't believe the Heavenly Father is going to defend me. So I need my assault rifle, my AR-15. All right. So, like, like I said in the other scripture, it said, uh, uh, let me read it again. Put up again thy sword into its place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. All right. It's not against no problem having a weapon, but out there in your garment with your fringes, 12 tribes, you're supposed to be doing the work, the spiritual work of the Heavenly Father, but you're out there with an a, a AR-15 or, a, a, you know, assault rifle or whatever, going the hell off. Looking like you in the NFAC. Come the hell on, man. Hey, Israel, y'all better wake up, man. You're going to see uh, who the Lord is dealing with in these end days, man. And Great Millstone GMS is, is setting itself further and further and further apart. This is 1 Thessalonians 5 and 22. It says, abstain from all appearances of evil. So we're supposed to be out there looking like uh, harmless as a dove, you know, persuading uh, the public with what the word of the Heavenly Father. <laughs> but you out there with a, a gun on your hip, arm, military fatigues, combat boots, like you just got uh, dropped off in the Middle East some fucking where. <laughs> hey, you, you Jake out there, man. You want it, you're going to get it. You want that smoke, Esau's going to give you that smoke. I'll put it like that. Uh, <laughs> what else I got? This is uh, one more. 2 Corinthians 10 and 4. It says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the Most High to the pulling, of, pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thought that exalted, exalted itself Against the knowledge of the power. And how do we do that? Through the word. Through the breakdown. Through the spirit of Yahweh Shai, The wisdom and knowledge that he's, he's given to his man. Not with weapons and rifles. And, and military fatigues. Hey, you, you completely the hell. You are going to completely the hell off. Alright? And anybody that run up behind this and see this. Uh, and I'm looking again to the Israelite thing. I will run the, run the other way. You can't know anything about the scriptures and think that right now, in the end days, 
that this is this is the look, man. <laughs> this is the look. Man. Let me read verse 5 again. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of the Most High and bringeth into captivity every thought to the obedience of Yahweh Shai. So is this how Yahweh Shai was preaching to the masses? Did he have his, uh, uh, you know, book of Eli blade on him? <laughs> Did he have, you know, swords, a shinobi sword coming out the back? Man, this is crazy, man. This is this is this is bullshit and it's crazy. And the fact that uh, you know Sakari and the leadership over there is cool with this, uh, you know, it says a whole lot. Uh, Gorilla Hebrew, and I, f I forgot the other guy that's the head over there. But hey, uh, you want that smoke? It's coming. I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. I want to say shalom the next time.